Hey guys, so Visual Studio IDE 2019 is officially released. So in this video, we are going to see how we can install Visual Studio IDE 2019 on our Windows operating system. And in this process, we will also feel how this Visual Studio IDE looks like and what are the new features available in the new Visual Studio IDE. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio. And here is the link which you need to click, which is visualstudio.microsoft.com. So we are going to click on this link. And then on the left hand side, you can see Visual Studio IDE. And you will see different versions available for download. So for now, we are going to download the community version. So I'm going to just click on the community 2019 and the download will start hopefully in a few seconds. So you can see this vs underscore community dot exe file is not really big. It's around 1.3 megabyte. But I think at the time of installation, we need internet connection in order to install Visual Studio IDE. So I'm going to click on the save file button and once this file is saved I'm just going to click on this exe file this is the easy part and then I'm going to click on yes and I'm going to minimize the browser so here is the first step visual studio installer before you get started we need to set up few things so that you can configure your installation I will just click on continue and then I will wait for this process to be completed so it seems that installation of this first step is done and we are waiting for the next step. And now we can see this kind of Visual Studio installer window. So here in few seconds, you will see this window where you need to choose the workloads. So there are several workloads available here. So depending upon your preferences, you can choose these workloads. So for now, I'm going to choose the .NET desktop workload and the other workloads you can also download and install later. So you don't need to choose each and every workload for now. You can choose the workload you require at the moment and then later also you can uh, install these workloads as you require them. And you can see on the right hand side the total space required for the particular workload. So for example, I uh, choose one more workload here for uh, the Node.js development also, then uh, this space requirement will be uh, greater. So I'm going to just choose this one for now, which is .NET desktop development uh, workload. And then I'm going to click on install. And now I will wait for this process to be completed. So this is around 4.5 gigabyte uh, workload which is to be downloaded so this might take some time to download and install this workload by the meantime let's see what are the new features which are available on visual studio ide 2019 so the first feature which is highlighted here is the one click code cleanup so it will resolve warnings and suggestions with the click of the button so this feature i have also seen on visual studio code when you install certain plugin this feature is available on uh, visual studio code also so i think uh, this uh, feature is really good when you need to resolve some issue related to styling or any other warnings or suggestions the second feature here is the visual studio IntelliCode. So it gets AI assisted recommendations that learns from uh, the community. So this is the second feature and the third feature here is the Visual Studio live share. So you can share your code at real time and collaborate on your development at real time with the other developer. Few more things I have read about Visual Studio 2019 is that it's a git first IDE that means the git integration in Visual Studio 2019 is really good you might have heard this news that uh, Microsoft has acquired github 
and this might be uh, the consequence of uh, this acquisition i think that now visual studio 2019 is git first ide so that you can uh, make your pull request using this ide itself and i suppose there will be more github related integration inside your visual studio ide the next thing i have heard about visual studio 2019 is its look and feel is now more closer to visual studio code look and feel and also the font styles are also closer to the visual studio code visual studio code is a code editor from microsoft which is an open source cross platform uh, editor which is really versatile and i, I really like it so if uh, this look and feel comes to visual studio uh, ide i think it's a really good step and when you scroll uh, down in this page you can see uh, this link which says uh, learn more about visual studio 2019 i'm going to click on this link and you will be able to find some more features of visual studio ide 2019 so when i scroll uh, down here you can see improved intellisense performance for uh, c++ files local development with many common emulators and simplified test access in solution explorer git management and repo creation in the ide and kubernetes support so these are some of the new features which are available in visual studio 2019 so now the process of installation of workload has been finished and i can see this message which says reboot required success one more step to go please restart your computer before you start visual studio community 2019 but before that i have to say that this process of installation of uh, workload it was around 4.5 gb of data which has to be downloaded and then installed so it took around 2 hours on my pc so make sure that you have considerable amount of time in order to install visual studio maybe it's it's my computer or maybe it's my internet connection it might be those reasons because of that uh, it took a considerable amount of time and maybe in your case this process will be faster if you have faster internet and uh, the good pc so now i'm going to restart my computer by just clicking on this restart button and then i will uh, see you on the other side when i will restart my uh, computer and restart visual studio community 2019 ide so now my pc has been restarted and now we are going to start visual studio 2019 for the first time so i'm going to go to the installation location from where i can uh, start visual studio 2019 i'm using windows 8 by the way so that's why this looks like this if you are using uh, windows 10 you will be able to uh, open this using this windows icon also so when you left click then you will be able to uh, see the visual studio icon there and you can see for the first time visual studio uh, ide looks like this when it starts and the first thing visual studio shows here is the welcome window and you will be encouraged to sign in with your microsoft account or any kind of uh, visual studio account and there is an option for not now maybe later also so let's click on this option which says not now maybe later and now we are going to choose the environment so this is a uh, new i'm uh, seeing this uh, for the first time for visual studio so start with a familiar environment development setting is general by default and there are uh, these options whatever you want so i'm going to just say i want the general development settings and there are few themes available here one is blue and other is uh, blue extra contrast light dark i'm going to go with the normal blue uh, which is the default uh, one and then i'm going to just click on uh, start visual studio 
So now I can see this window which says Visual Studio 2019 and on the left hand side I can see open recent. I haven't uh, opened anything. This is for the first time I'm opening Visual Studio 2019. So this will look like this and on the right hand side I can see clone or checkout or open a project or solution, open a local folder or create a new project. And there is an option for continue without uh, code. So I'm, I'm going to just click on this option which says continue without code and it's going to open this uh, Visual Studio IDE for the first time. So you can see this is going to look like this. So let's try to create a new project. So uh, I'm going to uh, try to create a project using the method which I know. So I always go to the file option and from here I choose new and then project. And here you will be able to choose the type of project. So I'm going to go with Windows Form app, which is uh, using uh, .NET Framework. And I also can see some new uh, looking window here. So this window in the previous version of Visual Studio, it doesn't look like this, right? and also the language options uh, I can choose directly from here. So let's say I want to choose uh, C sharp from here. So it's going to only show the C sharp options or I can also choose uh, the C++ options which are not available because I haven't installed uh, those options. So let's choose the default which is all languages and then choose Windows Form App and then click on Next and this will be the name of your project. So I'm going to leave it as default, which is Windows Form App 1. And this will be the location where Visual Studio will save this project by default. So I'm going to leave everything as default for now. And then I'm going to just click on uh, Create. So now I can see this project has been created. So just to check if everything is working fine, I'm going to just click on this start button which is going to build this application and run it on my PC. So now this form is open that means uh, our project has been compiled successfully and it's running. So everything is working fine after the installation. So this is how you can install Visual Studio 2019 on your Windows operating system. I have only installed the .NET workload, but you can also install any other workload, whatever you want at any time. So there are applications which you can develop. For example, if you want to develop Node.js or C++ application or Python application or any other application which you want to develop using Visual Studio, you can install the workload for that and then you will be able to develop those applications in your Visual Studio 2019 IDE. So I hope you have enjoyed the installation process of Visual Studio 2019 and I will see you in some other video. So see you later.